Discover your dream property in Banyakang. Are you searching for the perfect piece of land in Gambia's vibrant western division? Look no further than Banyakang. Here's why this opportunity is not to be missed. Situated in western Gambia, Banyakang is conveniently located near several bustling towns, including Tanji, Brufut, Madiana, Batakunku, Yuna, Mariama Kunda, and Kunkujang Mariama. This means you'll have easy access to essential amenities and vibrant communities. Enjoy the comforts of modern living with access to electricity and water on the property. Say goodbye to the hassle of arranging utilities. Everything you need is right at your fingertips. The land is strategically positioned just 100 meters away from the Banyakang Highway, offering quick and easy access to Bambo in Serekunda within a 30-minute drive. Experience the best of both worlds, the tranquility of Banyakang and the bustling city life just a short distance away. With dimensions of 30 men's by 30 men's, this spacious plot provides ample room to build your dream home, start a business, or create your own oasis of relaxation. Priced at just D400K, approximately $6,000 USD, this is an incredible opportunity to invest in your future at an unbeatable value. Don't miss out on securing your piece of paradise. Rest assured, this is a clean and legitimate deal. No scams here. We prioritize transparency and integrity in all our transactions, ensuring a smooth and hassle-free experience for our valued customers. Ready to make your dreams a reality? Don't hesitate. Contact the number displayed on your screen for more details and to schedule a viewing. Your perfect property in Banyakang awaits. Don't let this opportunity slip away. Act now and embark on your journey to a brighter future in beautiful Banyakang. Hello, a very good day Gambia. This is Gambia Culture TV. We're here again for yet another interesting reaction, interesting episode here on Gambia Culture TV. Stay tuned to the very end as we bring you some appetizing reactions here on King FM News broadcast by Ibrahim Ajara and Lamin Sanyang as they delve into newsworthy events or newsworthy activities or newsworthy stories as far as Gambian issues is concerned. Let's hear first of all from the headlines. <laughs> Shaking news as a man is jailed for 10 years after confirming that he killed an ex soldier, a soldier, of course, of the Gambia's National Army. And now, the killer of that particular soldier has been sentenced for 10 years in prison. Who is this man and which soldier did he kill? You'll know in the story. <laughs> Five Gambians have been assisted and escaped from Russian prisons. Who are these five Gambians and who helped them escape? Well, these five individuals must definitely be lucky. Escaping from Russian prison is not an overnight thing. Steps, procedures must have been taken. But who are these five Gambians? We will know from this interesting episode. There's an allegation that of a GRA staff been alleged that he has still money amounting to over a million. Who is this man? And what are the exact allegations in details? We will know from this interesting episode. There's an allegation of a drug dealer who actually forged medical document to be taken to foreign lands for treatment but after reports say that the man 
has in fact forged documentation just to be able to leave this country. Amrova's attack one a petrol station and have it is report say that they have taken some money. We know in this interesting episode. Of course, um, the head of the army has said that tribalism lies will not be something tolerated in the Gambia's national army. Where did he say this? And what did he say in details? You will know from this interesting episode. Interesting headline of the United Kiang Association wanting to join National People Party. This intervention is not going down well with the populace, what do you know? So this was the interesting headline. You must have been captivated by many to the man who is sentenced after killing an, an ex-soldier um, to five Gambians escaping, being helped to escape in Russian prisons. Perhaps the most cheeky one of them all, what you will know. now before going into the details of the the story that of course most of you will be interested let me just give you a brief summary of it um this there's this gambian called amod Keita who's currently in canada pursuing his phd education he already got double masters in mathematics in ghana and also in hungary and also was a lecturer at the university of the gambia he went to canada to further his education to have phd in mathematics so there's this tiktoker um who came like who does this kind of TikTok and also has a partnership with Chime, a money branch one may say or a money bureau as far as Canada is concerned, um, asking for support, asking for some food and Amodicator, uh, a humble Gambian or a camp Gambian gave him his last coins in his words, I cannot keep this for tomorrow when there is someone in need. He said his sustenance is not on his hands, but on God's hand. Guess what he did? The TikToker gave Amadou $5,000 instantly and also started a GoFundMe racing campaign where he raised over where he raised $100,000. That's equal to over $7 million. He also came with a brand new car for Amadou also had a full scholarship at the university to complete his education also with a brand new macbook laptop quite inspiring quite motivating absolutely motivating that is the reward for kindness so now this is a story written by alcamba times of Sene marina bringing you some of the details let's hear a bit of that <laughs> Ala 
editor a mi yalongo wolebe alkamba times e ko ibata la kore ada nyin keta akeda modi mi yalongo aya fode ko nyin tiktok a nyin mi yalongo wolebe jaman la mambulo nyindo anda ka content creator o keda modi mi yalongo aka munda o furata male andu wanyama we are winning car. I can't afford it. Mum will see me along with Bella Free. Puru yende ma do moro to ya itende. Amadu kera me along with car manna kole ya ku kole ya ku itende. Tu mo men na way of fire. O can't afford it. Bella Free koro la. Kola Bella Free do moro la. Puru yake moti me along with yema koi woro. Ika kera moti me along with ngani esene ya kono. A kera moti me along with amu wolende. Bara aje ko sulo bigire. Puru ka woma koi wote me ni nati ni dingra ni do ya itende. Ika la o kende ya ni me along with fong ai wole itende. Ni TikTok ni na o kera fendi me along with anana sa. Akamunda we kodo diala ba me yala ngadara kanya dolar kodo huli lulu akaya ko nyin tade tu mo men nangani ya sene ya wal tilina ida mo multi me yala ngko akamunda ngabe mfoye wale mbela frin domoro la andu ila peti ya nying wale ya sabu mbe nyin jusu jabron dike la ya itende jake roi eko mo multi me yala ngko ata nyin tiktok a nyin waya approach le wale okera multi me yala ngko a fata dama ata nyin dinki la nyin do tu mo me yala ngko ekate be library jin kono at la tonko ngon nyin do library niyo mwe wale akamunda mulka karandame wale ka wala Saya ingin kandami. Ada mu multi mi yang langka benu waldo. Andu wajah mafang waya fai. Akai konde mu multi mi yang langko. Kongkole benda saya ingin ai tendi. Baru gue benya mafang. Ada kau yang kau dem. Dua ruang macam bulu kono. Baru kamu tak kau di mesin gue benda bulu jenne. Me yang langka rana kanya. Kotoran koro. Tangan ing killing. Andu wajah mafang senti telulu. Walau benda bulu jenne saya ingin ai tendi. Andu wajah mafang. Aku mau mena kacau dunta. Ada ni watima. Ada malu nungko fang. Omu multi mi yang langko benda film kau wording kira nyindol. Walau benda wana talkan ne. Ai tendi ada nyindol nyindol. So this is it. Um, Amado's last balance was 11 million. Ah, sorry for that. <laughs> of course, 11 dollars. I mean coins, and of course, um, then Amado, of course, was unaware as they were in the library in a corner, but was unaware that filming was going on. So it was just more or less Amado's humanity, Amado's kindness, and that has given him a huge reward. Of course, Amado was in tears in some point saying. I wish my parents were around. Would you TikTok as a cheery ask? You miss them? Amado, of course, posted into tears, motivating, kindness, humility, at his best. Something that, of course, could inspire anyone. You can watch the video on Facebook. If you type it on Facebook, you will see it, or on TikTok, you will see the videos perhaps to inspire us all. We'll possibly try to put a link here on our day some video so that it can reach to many people. Kindness at his best one that we cannot learn from let's try to look at another story now let's try to hear the words of uh, the army head as he speak on the importance of soldiers not being involved into tribalism and also lies let's share the story my long cds a five for lieutenant general mamud ucham a soldier old and the lame uncle will never gambia armed forces a quick or see for them for so globally a political uh at a corner well and the sonala a gambia soldier kundado but in the ajube so there could have a professional institution that it will do for bundala me along of a do who know the man yellow world of kamala for a balia and in kuka down to move in the mail and at the killer new soldier bundado young soldier on the yard on kobe diamu ka there is no tribalism in the Aku sih peram panji dah jumpa kau kang, kau kamala. Intel tu so nala anda mau kau yang so jadi kunda, ikut serius bawa kau kang. Kau kamala apa kang? Aku intel love dulu moment design ting. Walau mungkin ambil bangkola tempung, ambil bangkola kairo. Anala tempung, mau kanda lawa nyam mema, watu wati. Anu peram kaitan di bang. Karena song mula intel divide walau kamu mula intel peram panji dulu ninda mau kema so jadi kunda jang, so jadi orang yang orang kau bawa kang. Let's do away with anything that has the potential of jeopardizing the peace and stability. Of the country, alinga jumpa kuola miyalo kwa bang ase bangola tangu ana la kairo ase mama ni nani bangoko kwa of course the army chief mamaro cham talking to the soldiers that um they will not tolerate tribalism they will not tolerate lies in the army and also being involved in politics he said let them not be involved on any activity that could jeopardize the peace and stability of the country words of mamad ocham i think as part of the ethics of the army that's it they cannot be involved in politics they have to be a political as they possibly can be of course um, also safeguarding the territory of the country without any interference in the politics without any interference in the tribalism without lying of course like you know they are ought to be the most disciplined sector in the country because um that that's where discipline starts from as far as national development is concerned but that is the word of mamaro cham while speaking to the soldiers in this current nationwide tour where they are meeting the barracks of the country mm, that's it we look at another interesting story 
here on King FM News broadcast by Ibrahim Ajara and Lamin Sanyang as we are bringing you live here on Gambia Kacha TV. Of course, come here to bring you every information wherever you are following us from. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, please do so now. Let's proceed to the interesting episodes. Thank you, Barola man. Get 10 years for killing ex soldier. May I say, well, I'm Bruce Asimoto. The Abasaveka Wadromena, High Court Vinyalanko, well, and Kitty Bun Sandon, Cody member Banjul, Mansi, the Kitty of Funa, well, and Justice Ibrahim Ajay, Salazalumo, Ekai Mofo, and the Luakan Ayasoro, Mentu Mubakar Dabodi, Tumome Yalongo, Sanjitan, Akabe, Walekele Bunjoro, Atumomena was under two mirror, Yemenden Atomoda, Kamu Multimi Yalongo, I am Molefa, Me Yalongo, Akamanto, I meant to Mulamin Dabodi, Komu Soldier for Roldi, members of Adrian Paji Kunda Sadio Konaya, and the Ekadian. To me more, what you follow a man then at home that will have more than I am more far, but when you are my man, I saw what to me roll. Prosecution me along for Willem Bancola Molde, a bacon of state council me along for Willem, for F Dramedy, a common multi me along for I say the say, I will a command and when you are my father, say the Jara Jamal Piji, me along for a lending key to Bonya Trimola, a bacon of post voting reporter, me along for Mori Fort Lady, for a separate problem, me along for a bottle of Tanoro, and when you are my father, Simon de Telamo, Yemenfo, for two me one year Walta, Puruka and Mofa. Me yalan ko fang a wala mo ada ni lamin da bodi ya itende eko wanyama fana tumo mena prosecution fang kola mol idel minyanda ka membe ko kiti bungo ya fo ada ni zinkira jindo eko eka da mol timi yalan ko yela fan na ni sorong ni nyama palambaya la karola tumi mo ni eka reman se da kumandi ya itende ni nyama eko kiti oni a tumo me yalan ko kiti dela ko mo be yela palanda itende kol tumi yalan ko wole bedende ni kiti oni na karola eko e bazar la fore fang kola mol na dela lor la fore katu biro bundi mo faro ka samba amofa ka mofa atre mantaw wala ya bondi moda ka samba man slota wala e mofa atra nun koy mantaw e ko wanyama drom tumi mofa nan kada modi mi yalan ko a sonta wo tumi rola ye menden atongoda ni nyala bangola kay mole fa atra mantaw ya itade the facts of the case we are narrated atu momi yalan ko ki wo be tata nyame ya fa ta nyen din kra nyindo membe banko to yala kiti bungodo def drame anum fana ata nyen accuse posena me yalan ko wala tumi mo nyindi ni be kada modi mi yalan ko fa aka monta i sonta kuma ka wala mi yalan ko bankola moye wala fo tu mi nyoma mo sonta wala para balanda fanna kilinda mala ka tle kada moti mi yalan ko ye men tu mi kay wala nduma ni me yalan ko wala sala nyinde me mu lamin da bodi ka tle boy taw kan kerola e ka balanda o fanna da mala para sonta to bi la yayi tande ni nyama men be lori ngato yala kiti bodo omar suso e ka mo moti mi yalan ka kiti bodo dane akoy ko de nalbe lu wata man di la kan ala ta man ni ka kan ani hino la de bayde ni aji be ni nan sinya foro de aji bubakar ababa kada moti mi yalan ko aka munda be of course, um, reports of a man sentenced to 10 years in prison for killing a soldier. The issue of killings are now becoming rampant in the country, and these are steps or measures that has to be taken now and now because Gambia cannot be turned to hunt the ground, and even our ex soldiers now are becoming in the spotlight. That need to be steps need to be taken measures need to be taken but my question is how can we have the peaceful gambia back the gambia that never knew how killing was the gambia that barely used to witness murder as between citizens of the country how can we have that security back how can we have that safety back questions what are your measures what are the opinions you think can be taken to ensure that those measures or that security safety and that people can walk freely in the streets that people can walk at night holding their phone fingering them in the best way they want without fear of anything this is a question coming from Gambia Kacha TV. Let's try to look at another interesting story. The Bunjaudo to women they are falling from murder to manslaughter. Now continue to borrow the Kafu Kafu Meko United Kiang Association, Melbe Sabati, the Angater Bank of the UK, Iman Kondani Yenya Fuya, Odio Dola Mialan Kabi, Janjan, and to women they are Ila Kafu to me, Komulbi Mialan Kabi, Parading Purkana Gambia, Kakafu, NPP Patio Mamalan Kopre, and Arma Borole, and Yatonga, Kafu Nim Bribedia Mukanga Fufang, Ekon Yin Kafu, a monkey protic. Kafuri anu mo luwe me alon ko wolle be kafu ko no ibe ka politik pati ol bele to me alon ko banko kanya ye kafu ni lole me alon ka manke protekti pour ka mulu ma koy me alon ko wolle mo kiyan tundu sabo bedi pour ke ma koy ko la fol me alon ko be wolle ko no me le be alon ko fan wolle mo kiyan goldi ya itandi ban be kudul senen la me alon ko be denden kuma kan wala men be audio ni ndo ba kadala of course the united kiyan association are not happy after an audio report say that some of the members are trying to come back to the Gambia to support the National People Party that is led by President Adam Abaro. To them, some of their members, they are not happy and delighted 
with that but of course that is just a summary summary of this story we have many interesting story on the pipeline and we have to get them more as we possibly can let's try to look at another interesting story <laughs> medical report exhibit pt medical report of course i'm um, just a summary of the story um a man who wanted to flee the gambia who is believed to be a drug dealer was currently ongoing the case for some medical documents to fly in the foreign lands so that he can of course move away just to avoid being prosecuted but now reports say um, the court have in fact found out that the documentations were forged. Certificate. When I'm Kaido Mialanka Bundi Lupan Kunda, a monkey Kaido Sobedi, and the chief medical director member, Chief Sheriff Fundajana Hospital, we was Sabat in Dile, Yait and Kumakamal. And we got a Janki Barola police tender cutlass, mattress, clothes, uh, bed seat in college shows at attempted murder trial. Uh, May I say, well, and Kim Sansane, Kaksaba Foka, what women, or Basaka, what women, Omar Brame, May Yalongo police sergeant, or Abedokola, and the crime unit, a of course, um, the police sergeant is currently testifying against Kurgi So, who is allowed to have attempted a murder on his wife using a cutlass and uh, doing so many cuts on the woman's body. So, currently, the matter is ongoing at the case. But this is Gambia Kacha TV, and that was reactions or news coming from um, King FM News, broadcast by Ibrahim Ajara and Lamin Sanyang. What was your favorite story? Is it the man who was sentenced to 10 years in prison for. Um, killing an ex-soldier and uh, of course the demand also who for some documentation to flee away from the country medical documentation of course after being um, currently ongoing at the court by alleged drug cases this is gambia kacha tv we are to bring in your more interesting episode now let's try to hear from honorable bori davo um as he said um talks about baro and his government and also the need to not bury in the truth. Here is Bonnie.
Of course, I'm um, Bonidabo started by saying that President Adam Abaro and his people are enjoying hiding the truth or burying the truth or the facts from the people and anyone who stand or speak want to speak against them they will stand and insult you citing example from dusano and saying that um dusano's background and um, of course poor political background means he shouldn't have had the confidence to stand and be against him people as loyal and as honest more than him as far as bonitabo is concerned <laughs> Lamin Mane, Ala Londo, Ala Dajiko, Ala Mankuto, Ala Kebaro, Ala Fokumo, Wale Fesa Tetati, Ibalajato Bay. Nim Waka Dajiko, Dajiko Kendo, Dajiko Kendes of Mankuto, Hadama Dingo, Ala Dajiko Kendo, Ala Limania, Tamimbe Soto, Dunia Balu Kono, Dr. Lamin Mane, Etana Bella Dusano, because it became Mamarosoto, Ikatulum, Ikunta Yata, Ika Ilo Tafania Kaifania Fasal.
sanyi dokta mane fundi ay diam du sa no kati ka wole gabi kala ko kandem du e holondo bonni mun tole du man eni ama bu bana mara bo nyoto dokta be min foka e londo soto ji ay faham rola soto ji amu section of fanana expertise leti wole na be jamu kanjela dokta lamin mane na lon den na nga nyum fonko sambi be fundi le be dokta lamin mane den na ani dokta lamin o kon Of course, the body double. Um, he is talking about Dusano's response to Dr. Lamin Mane, which is that Dr. Lamin Mane is an expert in this particular area and more educated uh, over Dusano in the respective area. Um, to Honorable Bonnie Dabo, there is basically um, no need to dwell further on this topic because he said, Lamin Silla said, that um, every kilometer is over a million dollars, which to Bonnie Dabo is quite staggering and worth no further but tracing because to him that can't be possible and that can't be true. So, to Dr. Mane and to Dusano's response to Dr. Mane for him is awkward because Dr. Mane understands his particular area, but he said the primary reason why they are doing this is because anyone who speaks ill against Adam or wants to reveal the truth against Adam Barrow and his government, they come out fighting at you, starting from Dusano. is asking Dusano and his people to keep quiet not to talk much as far as politics and its development is concerned earlier he said a Senegalese driver said to him that the government of the Gambia played with its citizens or with her citizens because all as she summit any country it is it is to happen um roads projects has to be complete villas has to be in place hotels has to be absolutely intact and things of that nature he said dr mane was explaining about how the gambia tapped in some money from different countries he said in fact at some point i remember stating that when this money comes into the gambia even the birds will be aware but at some point the white stopped bringing out those money or giving out those money to the gambia because they realized that the government of the gambia were not true and not honest about the money that rather they were just misappropriating it and squandering the money into places that are known also at putting in some corruptions of course eating the money or using it on their own way if that's the right word but this is gambia kacha tv and that was honorable bonnie dabo talking about that how president adam barrow and his followers hide the truth from the citizens and also anyone who tried to speak against them they tried to bring him down now let's hear from this audio from a udp staunch supporter 
who um, said that he's seen some issues about the United Democratic Party and on Kerfato that he's very delighted with policy from the horse's mouth. Assalamu alaikum, Badinga Mianoru. Assalamu alaikum, UDP. Ngamolbe Kondong Kabo Pati Lida La Fogada Mola Baola. And Executive Olbe Kondong. Yo Kondong Dro Kola. Nga Kondong Kuba Sodo Menkata UDP La Executive Olti. Nga Program Odo Jibeng Menkata Kerfatu Di. Nga Lamen Sal Jiji Anil Lamen. Kun <laughs> Bari jamale be ko ma mem malong al finda ali al fayita molula man ke kafo ko kam fayita molula pour ni kamala he said of course when he saw those some of those um, UDP executive on Kerfarz Lamin that he was very happy because he said politics doesn't need hiding he said of course as an individual you know what you are capable of and people who know you know exactly what you are capable of but there are many other people behind who doesn't know you and doesn't entirely know what you are capable of so if you hide yourself that would be missing but rather you should be out speaking to the people it's not showing out yourself like bluffing or things of that nature but it's explaining to the people what you can do and to gain their trust Bari hani ibe mengu to banko e saje mul sa ngani yolo mul sa lo ito famoto ani ye mul ali mul program mul landi ko suri pila e five point agenda executive holder mal sa wa fino banko kam platform mul occupy generally sur bal nyin i etral nyin kala every platform ka itan diro ka wa to bela UDP la five point agenda be lo tan kaw mo ni la men ni la men sa nyang ni la men eh la men sa ne a mashallah la men boja sorry la men boja ni la men sa ne mashallah ela kenya ye me yitandi banko la o kuma ta bakele momo mo kafu eh banko din kendo ti momo ni mo banko kanulati even yon lanyin appreciate la bak because monem eh gambia no lu jama be je yenyi na muta ko eh nyim pati o kono mamad sabal ko la moti je men ne o lota waran to me lon do soto yo bari ndol yu di fi ngol yalo ne ko Mamar Sabali, dam mama antaran tu lakafo kono me londo soto. Maybe Mamar Sabali le ata itandi. But we have so many talented, we have men and women, many alongko. They are well educated and ye experience for nasoto bakele. Man ke koma kafo konga educated dam ma. But he experienced for us only because he could jamal el taman the dunia kono. He for us jamal el mara. Yo bari. Of course, um, we will hear the next audio from him, of course, as he said earlier that UDP's five-point agenda has to be put into the people. But he said also he's happy with what Lamin Bojan and Lamin Sane did because um, he said this will show that it is not only people will think that it was only Mamar Sabal who is educated in the party, but rather this thing will show that it's not only Mamar Sabal, but there are people in the party who are very educated and very experienced. He said because education alone is not enough, but the experience too has to be there. Men kumata, wale mnyinti kono, ni intellectual wale ni alonko ben kono na executive wale fara. Ita finti, 
ikala fenye nene nchona liso lika kacha ikana kubi tu ba usenu da mabulu aning aji ya munda useka nyoning aji ya munda wa yabu nyolo mbama nyolo funding chow lumeni alonko they are active let them come out and speak the truth because all, the only truth can set us free to nya da mal sentul bonde no jang katung gambia beta moment to be ni mal lo to nya kan nyimbang ko kan jang beta nyimbang ko bonde la no he said of course what is pleading to the UDP executive is that don't leave everything with Leo Usenu Dabo and Ajiyam Seka. They alone cannot do it all. The members have to support them and they have to speak the truth because that's the way forward for national development. <laughs> Lamen Bojani Lamen Sanya Lamen Sanya la Kajani en Korofa Bak Ninamu Vision of Jimmy Alonko Abe UDP la five point agenda general Kono Bankol Mul la Fakamen Achief Bari Bodia Mosiata Banko Kamen Kenya Mankeya Bari Pationi ala ganyo ondo ligo da mala kuro membe nyum patio ka nyendi lola nyum banko ka kuwa mensa keno fa nyum patio ka nyum banko ka uwe kuma ala bake bari tera oras meni ala nko hani bi imam finti ka diamu ye finti jenali shol dani la yenna executive formo li ye tolu soto ye ke kumande ke invite platform ondo ni kakaja Banko ning afrat cha momento wala mnyi tuko karanal meni alam ko elate fana andung itirinda elafta banko la kairo la elafe dingo la sama la elafe mama dingo la sama la wala sa nyi banko transformo banu nda banko tinya dal aku yata meo wadi yata meo wadi banko tinya dal bari membe kirim banko ka men sa itan dino mulu la ka Aita ni mola no kunyumbango ala alhalo benye mnyama akasara tale uma karana leti aning sama menbe alfa ya la banko kwa banko banko ya kulo soto le barikambi ya banko kulo soto ndola manza kula banko kulo soto na banko banko kulo soto kote. Ndung banko nying ala kuru nda jikila teo kono Bari aramako aning coalition government lebe duu kuwala Wala kuna amang kuke no uleleba onda mayen kang Aya UDP jamfa walto aya bayi Ako bari ning ala mansa kunda nara Ata fongo ya mansa kunda menchila asembola nanara Ako ninyo mansa kunda adobe fasala ya Of course, um, a staunch member of the United Democratic Party supporter they are speaking as Gambia Kacha TV brings, of course, he speaks about the United Democratic Party, um, of course, and the need for the executive to face the media and say that the five-point agenda. Politics doesn't need hidden. People cannot be hidden in politics, but rather should come out and speak their voices as far as that staunch member is concerned. This is Gambia Kacha TV. I hope you enjoyed this bulletin.